on everybody I'm Daniel and welcome back to Frosty Reviews man I'm pretty damn thirsty right now I mean I need a damn drink so today's beer is going to be from Sierra Nevada and this is their pale ale now pale ale is gonna be a really uh, smooth lighter beer on the when we're talking about craft beers this is more of your day drinker this frost is rocking a 5.6 abv with 38 ibus so it's just you know it's not too high in alcohol it's not too low it's not going to be too bitter just you know it's going to be just enough to, to hit you in the feels let's see what this beer has to say sierra nevada brewing company is based out of chico california and mills river north carolina it is family owned and operated and argued over. So the pale ale in your hand sparked the American craft beer revolution, bold and complex with pine and citrus notes from whole cone cascade hops. This pale ale was first brewed in 1980 and introduced a generation to the glory of hops. Our pale ale is still classic in Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. It's still 100% family owned, operated, and argued over. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, it has a deep looking amber color to it. It's very, very good looking beer. Nice and it's completely filtered. So you build a seat through the whole shebang. You can see Frosty right through the glass. What's up, homie? All right, so before we let this, you know, before I dive into the beer, today I want to give a shout out to Greg Blanchard. Greg Blanchard is a kayak bass, largemouth bass fisherman, I guess you could say. He just, he loves to fish bass, or he loves the bass fish. I grew up bass fishing with my brother and my dad, and Greg's channel is so amazing. He's actually sponsored by Sierra Nevada. So he he always, he's always drinking either a Sierra Nevada on his, on his channel, obviously that's a sponsor, but he loves IPAs. And I found this out because he was actually, I actually had a conversation with him through my brother because my brother is one of his patrons and my brother gets to talk to him on the regular and for tips and tricks and all this stuff. And my brother asked Greg, you know, what kind of beers is he really into? And he gave me this list and I couldn't find those beers at the store because I mean, Frost has been putting the hurting on HEB down here. I've been buying all their damn crap beers. So anyways, if y'all wanna, if you're into uh, bass fishing, y'all gotta go check out Greg. And Greg's actually a subscriber to my channel. So he's a Frosto. So I want to say thank you, Greg, man. I really appreciate these, uh, the support. And uh, man, your video and your channel is just so good. Anyways, let's move into the brewski. Has, you know, just smells like a, a slightly hoppy light beer. Cheers to all my Frostos and Frostettes. Smooth. That's a smooth beer. So what I'm tasting is a very good mixture of like a citrus and a, and a and hops and they're just crushed together. So you don't get too much of either one. It's just really smooth. It's a day drinking beer. I mean, very, very smooth and relaxing and hell yeah. I love this beer. good so let's talk about today's apparel 
Today's hat comes from Columbia PFG, which means performance fishing gear. Uh, I thought it fit talking about Greg Blanchard. And of course, you know, got the hook em, baby. So I've never been a college football fan. And from what I've noticed this year, there's no political bullshit in college football. So I'm down with that. So I didn't have a team. So I picked the most Texas team, because I'm from Texas. So the most Texas school out of all of them, and by far Longhorns just screamed at me. So I'm now a Texas Longhorn fan. Today's shirt comes from relentlessdefender.com. And if you, as you can see, this shirt is a shape of Texas. It says McCallum Strong with the blue line, representing a thin blue line. And this shirt was made because, or I guess, um, it was made for these two officers. Uh, on July 11th, 2020, officers Is Ismael Chavez and Eldon, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher his name, rest in peace. Eldel Mito Garza Jr. They were both, they both worked for McAllen PD. They were ambushed, shot and killed, responding to a domestic disturbance. So once this happened, Relentless Defender does this for a lot of fallen officers, and they reached out to McAllen's, um, I guess their police uh, association, officer association, and they developed the shirt, and they raised seventeen thousand five hundred forty-four dollars. And Relentless Defender took not one penny; they donated every single cent to the officer association, who then gave the money to the family members of Ismael Chavez and El Demidal Garza Jr. And I want to say thank you to you, to um, you two officers and every officer that has the hardest job in the United States. And I want to tell you that I say fund the, fund the police and I, I, I support um, every first responder. So I can't imagine what your families are going through and I'm very sorry for your loss. Yeah. Cheers to those officers' families. Here's mud in your eye. All right. Let's grade this some bitch. It's good, man. It's good for, for light beer. I, I, I really, really enjoy it. So I'm going to go with a like an 8.1. It's really, really smooth. I really recommend this beer. And usually you can find it at most... You know, HEBs, or most maybe Brookshire's down here in the south, the Kroger. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, it's a very, very good light beer and it's pretty easily uh, available. So yeah, check them out, Sierra Nevada. Uh, check out Greg Blanchard. Check out Columbia Fishing uh, Performance fishing gear and check out uh relentless defender they have a lot of cool shirts for first responders so anyways i'm daniel this is frost reviews and you already know sucker stay frosted